So day number two here at the GKA Big Air Kite World Cup and it's absolutely pumping down here. The Tramontana has kicking in and you can see the crowd is starting to build. As the afternoon goes on, it's only going to get busier. We've seen some amazing action so far. We've started with the men. We're going to continue with the men and then we're going to push on to the women and then hopefully wrap things up with both finals later on this afternoon. Five knots, so everyone is switching from eight meters to six meters to do some double loops. The patiently waiting throughout the day, the women are now on the water. It's semi final time, then we go to the men, and then it's finals. And the wind is looking strong, it's only going to get stronger. It's all systems go down here in Baccarez. Couldn't be more stoked of how today turned out. It was a uh, yeah, really challenging lead up to this event. But um, yeah, man, I'm lost for words. Like just heat by heat, every progressively getting better and better. And in the final, I knew I had to give it my all up against Andrea. He's such a tough competitor. I've lost against him like in the three last competition. So it felt so damn good to beat him today. My gear was working amazingly. Do its own really finding out that tuning up that gear and making it perfect. So couldn't be happier and yeah, see you guys at the next stop. Um, very unexpected, but I knew I could achieve it. Um, I came here with zero training whatsoever, really. I haven't done any bigger in about maybe two and a half, three months. And yeah, I mean, went out the first day and got the shit scared out of me, but I think I kind of redeemed myself. And yeah, I just had a lot of fun out there and can't wait to do it again in Tarifa. So that brings us to an end of epic competing and action here at the Lords of Tram, it's the GKA Big Air Kite Surf World Cup. We've seen crashes, unbelievable moves, even a triple loop. But the real winner here on the weekend is Big Air Kiteboarding. See you again. <laughs>